I just finished making this pattern, Simplicity 9611. This is rated as easy. And I made it up in a muslin. I need to now go buy some fabric to make the real pants, but I did notice that I wanna make a couple changes. So there is an invisible zipper that goes on the side, on the left side. There are front pockets. There are darts in the back and there are no back pockets or anything like that and then there is a waistband i think that the pants fit okay the only change that i want to make is i want to reduce how high they come up because they go up way past my belly button i decided to shorten this height by an inch so i just drew a line across here and then an inch up from this line drew another line and then I'm going to fold this down onto this line and then tape it similar to how I did here and then I ended up truing up the side here just to make sure everything is even and lines up so I will do the same thing on this side after I fold everything down there's gonna be this edge here that I'm gonna have to like clean up some type of way so I could fold it in, but I just wanna make sure that there's a clean line going from here up to the top. The other thing I almost forgot is that I did decide to lengthen the pants. So I'm going to lengthen them by two inches. So usually when I adjust the front piece, I do need to go ahead and make the same adjustment to the pocket piece. However, I did that here. I folded out one inch, and then when I lined everything up, the pocket was coming out to be too short. So what I think I'm going to do, let me remove this pin. I'm going to open this and just line everything up and then just find out how much it overlaps by. So the pocket is overlapping by about a quarter of an inch. I just decided to trace out the pocket pieces. I traced it out on this paper here and then I drew a quarter inch across the top of each piece. I'm going to go ahead and cut that off and then it should line up okay with the front of the pants after I do that. Okay, I cut off the quarter inch from the top and now it looks like it's gonna line up and match okay. So I can go ahead and cut the fabric out of this piece and this piece instead of the pieces in the pattern. So I just got back from Joanne Fabrics and this is the fabric that I decided to pick up. It's a denim and it has this texture to it. I really like the other side of the fabric too. I like that light side. And I bought some interfacing just because I needed some. This pattern does call for it, but I needed a little more in general. And then I bought some thread just because I needed some black thread and then the invisible zipper. It calls for a seven inch invisible zipper and I got this in navy. So I cut out all my pieces and now I am ready to start sewing. I did place some interfacing along the inside here. This is to stabilize the pocket area. This is per the directions. And then I did some stay stitching at the top here. I am using this fabric that I had left over from a different project. This is my pocket lining fabric. And I did want to show that this fabric does have a little stretch in it, just a little bit. Not so much vertically, but there's a little stretch going from left to right. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pin this together. And I am really excited to see how these are gonna come out with the change in the waist from high to low. So I am almost done with the pants. This is the front. Here's the zipper here on the side. The back is plain, no pockets or anything, just the darts. 
and the only thing I need to do is to hem the pants. So I tried them on. This part here comes up to my belly button, whereas before it was an inch above my belly button. So I'm okay with the new length. And yes, I'll go ahead and hem these and then they will be all finished. I am really happy with the way that the pants turned out and I decided to pair them with a McCall's bodysuit that I made a while ago.